Well, Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. You take a look at her, she's a slob. She talks like a, a, like a truck driver. Rosie attacked me personally because I was very happy when her talk show failed. The other thing that failed, and this was a real monster, and everybody was suing her, was her magazine. Her magazine called Rosie was a total disaster. So I loved it. I gloat over it. I think it's wonderful because I like to see bad people fail. Rosie failed. I'm happy about it. She's basically a disaster. Well, she called me a snake oil salesman. And, you know, coming from Rosie, that's pretty low because when you look at her and when you see the mind, the mind is, is weak. I don't see it. I don't get it. I never understood. How does she even get on television? I believe Barbara made a terrible mistake putting her on, and I think Barbara's probably paying a big price. If I were running The View, I'd fire Rosie. I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie, you're fired. We're all a little chubby, but Rosie's just worse than most of us. But it's not the chubbiness. Rosie is a very unattractive person, both inside and out. Rosie's a person that's very lucky to have her girlfriend. And she better be careful or I'll send one of my friends over to pick up her girlfriend. Why would she stay with Rosie if she had another choice? She's trying to use ABC and The View to get even with me. But with me, we fight back. I'll probably sue Rosie because she doesn't tell the facts. As an example, I'm worth many billions of dollars. Now, she said I was bankrupt. I never went bankrupt. So probably I'll sue her because it would be fun. I'd like to take some money out of her fat ass pockets. I actually think they ought to look at her whole life and see where she's coming from because I think she's got some very deep seated problems. Perhaps it should be Rosie that goes to rehab. Rosie is a loser.